in this segment once again we would look into islamic contract in fact this segment is a summary of uh, the most important islamic contract given the importance of contract in islamic dealings in muamalat in business in islamic banking and finance it is imperative for us to understand different islamic contracts there are a number of categories or groups of islamic contracts like we saw in the previous segment there are sale contracts there are lease contracts of course there are some investment contracts we have some contracts which support other contracts called supporting contracts then we have gratuitous contracts and in addition to these uh, five groups of contracts there are some other arrangements which may not be just an independent contract there may be arrangements based on different contracts when we look at sale contract spot sale contract is the base level contract spot sale contract is what it is a contract whereby one party sells something which is delivered now against a price which is received now hence we call it a spot sale contract which is the base level contract in islamic law and actually this is the most preferred form of a sale contract price paise do or cheese le jao so that is called the spot sale contract now these spot sale contracts or sale in general could be without profit or with profit ye mumkin hai ki aap kisi dukandar ke paas jaye aur dukandar aapko munafa kamaye baghair koi cheez bech de that in islamic law is called tauliya you will be very lucky if you have some shopkeeper friends or some friends who are willing to sell certain things to you without charging you profit there are some other sale contracts where the seller might disclose the profit it is a requirement of a murabaha contract that the profit should be disclosed agar koi aap se 20% munafa kama raha hai to wo aapko bataye this is a requirement of a murabaha sale contract and a murabaha sale contract in its simple form is actually a spot contract although in the context of islamic banking and finance murabaha is combined with a deferred payment sale because of which many people think that murabaha is actually a deferred payment contract which is not the case the defining feature of a murabaha contract is that the profit is disclosed murabaha is derived from a word rib rib in arabic means profit and murabaha means earning profit out of an arrangement in such a way that profit is disclosed then we have deferred payment sale which is also called ba muajjal deferred delivery sale which is called salam and then we have commission sale contract called istisna there are some controversial uh, sale contracts like ba'ina and like tawarruq ba'ina has historically been used in countries like malaysia but even there its use is going down very significantly tawarruq on the other hand side is the most commonly used contract in islamic banking and finance although to many people it remains controversial there are some specific sales which we would be referring to in the context of islamic banking and finance 
learning so we would be looking into sale of currency and sale of debt these are very sensitive sales for which there are separate rulings and they would be subject matter of one of the segments lease contracts simple lease as we said in our previous segment these uh, lease contracts are used in a number of Islamic financial transactions. Sukuk, which is a form of Islamic bond, the most widely used structure of Sukuk is actually based on Ijara. And when the time comes, we would explain the structure of a Sukuk Ijara. Higher purchase, this is something used by Islamic banks in a number of products and structures and we would explain these structures in due time as well forward lease contract this is another recognized lease contract in islamic law and ijara wa iqtina or lease to gift this is another variant of a lease contract investment contracts profit sharing contracts partnership or profit loss sharing contracts and the third may be an investment agency or wakala istithmar. Profit sharing is known as uh, mudaraba. It could be a restricted mudaraba or it could be an unrestricted mudaraba. The distinctions between these two would be explained in due time. Partnership contracts are quite a number. Okay. However, we have uh, listed sharika aqd milk and wuju and we would be going into the details or their definitions and their characteristics in one of the forthcoming segments investment agency or wakala istithmar this is becoming very popular in islamic banking with a number of applications supporting contracts wakala Service agency, juala, pledge, rehan, remittance, awala, and safe custody, wadiya. These are the supporting contracts which are used in almost all the Islamic financial products in one form or the other. The uh, uh, gratuitous contracts and other commercial uh, arrangements they have their own significance in case of gratuitous contracts the one party may benefit without the other party having any meaningful be benefit to the contract for example in case of gift gift a gift is an example of a gratuitous contract in which one party the party which receives gift benefit the other party actually doesn't have any worldly benefit in it and other contractual arrangements we call them arrangements not contracts because technically they are not just one contract they may be combination of many contracts or in case of wad actually the arrangement may not be deemed as a contract in Islamic law. So with this one, I would like to stop here with the summary of Islamic legal contracts, which are a lot in number. And of course, they're very significant in scope and scale.